Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I am transforming this old little pony that I, stuffed pony that I have. I want it at Ocean City on the boardwalk and my dog went and she has a puppy. She chewed off its eyeballs. <laughs> it has no eyeballs. And I just always been sitting around here. And I have all these ribbons from Farm Fair over the years. And these single ribbons are really hard to find something to do with. So I'm going to transform this pony into a ribbon pony. And this is how I'm going to she do it. Her eyes. So I got all these ribbons here and my sewing kit and a pair of scissors. So I'll go ahead and start on the feet. So I never done this before, so I'm just weighing it. I am taking this part off of this ribbon and I want it to be flat and straight. So I need to cut this off. So I got my scissors here and I'm just cutting a straight line, right? Well, semi-straight line right across the top like that and I'm going to make a pile of them. So now that I got my four hooves, I am grabbing my white yarn and a needle. So I got a pretty good size knot at the end of my yarn so it doesn't slip through the body, hopefully. It's kind of a cheap um, stuffed animal so it might. And now I'm going to place this where I want it. Do I? You know what? I am going to make him have socks. I'm gonna leave this brown like a normal hoof and then this pony's gonna have all four white socks. So well, here's a needle. And I am going to find where I want it and then put this through it so it stays in place. While I am sewing it all around. So right now, this pony is looking like that. So I got my needle right into there so this ribbon stays in place while I sew it onto the pony. So I got it all sewn up here and I just got done cutting it if you couldn't tell. What I noticed is I have this flap right here and I don't like the look of that. And I should have put that on the bottom side of it but I wanted the people to be able to see this 4-H symbol on it. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this, fold this under, and sew a line straight across here so it looks as close as possible to being one solid ribbon. Few moments later. I just got done sewing the seam up on the ribbon, and so I'm just gonna remove my other needle, and it'll stay right in place. So I'm not going to do sew this part down because when I take my next ribbon and I overlap it, there's going to be a seam right there anyway. So instead of doing two sews, I'm just going to do one and just go through both ribbons. And now I'll just move on to the other four feet and get all my right white ribbons done. So now that I have all four white socks, I now have to pick what color I want the legs to be. So I'm kind of thinking, I'm gonna do a mixture of blue 
and red throughout the body. So I'm just gonna cut a whole bunch of blue and reds. And I think I'm gonna do at the end a blaze down his face because I think that would be nice. So I'm just gonna get to cutting some of these. So I finally got all the legs done with ribbon and then I'm going to move on to the body parts. Now if you notice on the legs I have flaps and like leftover pieces that are not yet sewn down. But I'm not going to sew them down. When I'm going over the body I'm just simply laying the ribbon like this and then I'll sew that ribbon down and then I don't have to worry about sewing those flaps that were overlapping. And it'll be hidden just like that. And I'll just be cutting long strips and just placing them all throughout the body. So the first one I'm going to do is the one I know where it's supposed to be at. And I'm going to work around it. It's the one for the blaze of my horse. I'm getting started sewing on the blaze of my horse. I'm really working to where the most pain in the butt pieces I already got that done and over with. So once I got to like when I get to the big big body part it's gonna be like a breeze. It's gonna be so simple and almost relaxing and hopefully I won't poke my finger as much because that's not fun. So my pony here has fur. So I can either go like this, come down it, or go up here and cut a strip through it. So I think I'm going to take my chances and cut through it. Now I just got to sew this. Well, if you notice, I left this like this because I started thinking, instead of making a green muzzle, why don't I just keep his little nostrils and just end this where it's supposed to be. So that's what I'm exactly going to do. Now I can always add the green muzzle if I want it, but I don't have to. I'm gonna lay the body out, which is very simple and easy. Hey guys, so I just got done with all the ribbons on the horse. And so now to find some buttons for the eyeballs. So unfortunately, out of all the buttons I have, I don't have two of the same button. So my horse is just gonna be eyeless for a while until a button pops up. So that's where I'll end this video. Um, if you guys don't have buttons, like I do, you could always just sharpie eyeballs onto it, or you can just leave him butt eyeballless. Not that big of a deal, just can't see, but it's a stuffed animal, so you're not supposed to. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would love to see you guys' pictures of the ribbon horses, or ribbon bears, or whatever stuffed animal you transform into a ribbon animal. So if you don't mind, just always send me a picture of what your guys' latest creation is. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye! Well, I look into your eyes It's like I'm watching the night sky Oh, a beautiful sunrise There's so much they hold